Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would try a uh, get ready with me with almost a full face of new makeup. I have all of these products that I want to try out. These are not new, but they're new to me. And so if you're interested in seeing what these products do, I have from P. Louise, Frank Body, Wayne Goss, Charlotte Tilbury, La Mer, and others then please keep on watching i'll open the products in the order that i use them so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to start with the tarte the timeless smoothing priming base so i like to use this in my pores just take a little bit out with my nails i have long nails right now and i'm going to smooth this into my pores and i notice this helps really give me a poreless look so and i hadn't used this product in a long time and i found it again in my collection and I wondered why I stopped using this because it's so good. So I'm gonna use that, fill in my pores. Then I'm going in with the Farsali liquid powder. I've had this for a little while and I've been really enjoying the process of using this and it really does help my oily skin. So I take a few drops of that and put that all over my skin, especially in my T-zone. Now, how have you guys been? I know that for me, I've been really busy. Next, I'm using this Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. This helps my under eyes not look so crepey. So my best friend flew in from Ohio to spend her 50th birthday with me. And then we went to Vegas for a quick turnaround trip because her sister ended up getting married. So it was just her two sisters and a best friend. So it was a really small wedding, but they did get married. And so that was a fun road trip for us. So here I have the Kevin Aquan, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. Now someone recommended this to me to try to use around my hyperpigmentation. And so this is what the packaging looks like. It just says Kevin Aquan on top like that and it's this tiny jar. And they said to use this very sparingly. So this is what the color looks like. I'm gonna take the Zoeva 110 face brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit in the lid and I'm gonna try just putting just a tiny bit on my areas of hyperpigmentation and I'm gonna blend that in. And you'll see that it's kind of peach colored, so maybe it'll help with the discoloration, but let me bring you in a little closer. But you can already see there that it did dis hide the discoloration a little bit, but it said to use a pea size and I used way less than a pea size. So, but look at how it's working. This is my first time using this. I've had this for a while, but I just had so much new makeup to try that I haven't tried this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now it does say you can use it under the eyes, but it's said to use just a small amount. I think I'm gonna not use this because I have another concealer that I do want to try. But let's get this around the nose. You know, I'm always trying to figure out how to keep uh, foundation around my nose, right? Let's put a tiny bit right here on this blemish. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Oh, pretty good. I'll have to try this, keep using this and see what I think. So for foundation, I'm gonna use the Lila B, B Pure, the Marvelous Matte Foundation. And I have mine in the color, okay, it doesn't say what color it is, but let me show you what it looks like. This is the color, and I used this when I used to be a little bit darker, but here's what that looks like. So I'm gonna be a little tan today. But before we do that, I want to try using the La Mer concealer that I got. I got this in 32 medium, and I've been wanting to try the La Mer concealer and powder. So this is what that looks like. You can see that it's kind of light there. So that's 32 medium. Let's go ahead and swatch this next to the Lila B. So you can see it's much lighter there than it is with the Lila B. So I'm just going to use this around my eyes. I'll just put a little bit there, a little bit down my nose. And right there. And we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna use the hourglass brush because I'm washing a lot of my brushes, so. Or I've washed a lot of my brushes this morning, so they're still wet. But I like how it takes the color, how it lightens my under eyes. I don't have a ton of dark areas under my under eyes now that I stopped using the Revital Lash. But it does take away the dark areas. And I like that, that looks kind of natural, right? And it doesn't look creepy under the eyes. It's not going into my fine lines and wrinkles. So that's good. Okay, then let's go into the Lila B foundation. 
this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and use, let's keep trying this um, Zoeva 110 brush. And I'm just going to kind of stipple that on and see how that works out. And areas like this, I'm just going to brush it over. And then where I have areas of hyperpigmentation, where I use that Kevin Aquan, I'll just stipple this on. My God, I don't know how old this is. This foundation is. I've had it for such a long time. And I do have some areas of dry spots right there from my Retin-A, Retinoid products from Curology that I do use. That's not the foundation, that's me. Oh, I forgot how much I like this. Look at how it evens out my skin tone. I don't know if that's the Lila B or the Kevin Aquan. I'll have to take a, a little bit down my neck since I'm so much lighter. But look at that, look at, doesn't that look great? Excuse my eyebrows, I'm trying to grow them a little bit so that I can reshape them. <laughs> but I do have some discoloration above my eyebrows, so there's that. I think that looks pretty good, don't you? I kind of like that. I'll just get it really into the nasal labial folds. Okay, before I put powder on, actually, let's go ahead and use the powder. I'm going to use the La Mer Loose Powder. I just got this. Now, I know Mel Thompson used to love this, but I think she loves the Sicily Powder, which I do have and love the Sicily Loose Powder. But I thought I would go ahead and try this. Look at how beautiful the packaging in is. It's really luxe and this frosted glass. It does come with a cute little poof that I am not going to use. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna take the sticker off. So I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss airbrush to put some powder. I'm getting some on my airbrush and I'm just gonna pat that under my eyes. And then I'm going in with my La Mer powder brush and I'm just gonna stick that in here, get some on there pounce that onto my skin. I don't like to bake it on the first time I use it because I just really want to see what the capabilities of it are without putting a ton on my face. So we'll start with that. And it smells, it's perfumed, just so you know. Then I went to the Morphe store recently and they carry Frank Body there. So I did pick up this Frank Body lip tint and it is in the color Zen Nudes. It's a lip tint. So I, there were three shades and I got the nude one. So it comes in a product like this. Sorry, I used it already while I was in Vegas. And it smells like coffee. It's so delicious. So I'm just gonna put a little bit and get my lips hydrated. So this one is in the color Send Nudes. It's a little lighter than I like, but that's all right. I'll still use it. And then the other thing I got from the Morphe store was the P. Louise Eye Base. And the gal said that I should get the color Rumor 02. This is the most or the best selling shade that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'll just put a tiny bit onto my finger. Ooh, too much. It popped out probably from the air pressure. So I don't want to put all that on there. You can see I got too much out. I'm not going to use it all. I'll have to wipe some of that off. But let me just put a little bit on there. And it is kind of thick feeling compared to the hourglass one that I'm used to wearing. Uh oh, I got some under my eye. So it's thicker than the hourglass one that I usually use. But let's go ahead and try this. I know everyone, a lot of people swear by this eyeshadow base, so I thought I wanted to try it. So let's go ahead and do that there. And then I'll wipe the rest off. So let me go do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I thought I would use today is the Wayne Goss Luxury Eye Palette in Pearl Moonstone. So this is what the palette looks like. I didn't purchase this when it first came out, but I did get this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. So I haven't used this yet, so I thought I would go ahead and try this today. What do you guys think? Let me go ahead and swatch this so I know what I'm working with. So I'm gonna go like this. And Wayne Goss says he does use, will put a black in every eyeshadow palette. I don't know if I agree with that or not, but I'm not a makeup artist, so. What do I know? So those are the first three shades. And I do have his Imperial, what is the Imperial? His other, his first release with the eyeshadow palette, I do have that one too. And these are very smooth. Oh, this one is more glittery. Okay, so that's what we're working with today. Should we go for something bold or nah? <laughs> 
Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do today? I'm gonna go into this first color. Let me bring you in a little closer and let me get the creases out of the eyeshadow base. I'm gonna go into this color right here and I'm using just my Fenty eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna put this kind of all over my lid. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. You know I'm not a bold eye person, so this is kind of a little frightening, but let's see what we can do. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this all the way up to the eyebrows, because I think this is light enough for me to use up there as a highlighting shade as well. And since I have this brush out, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take a large fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into this color right here and I'm gonna use that on the lower crease. Just really lightly use that in there and see how that goes. It's just a light wash of color. See how it's a little patchy right there? I don't know. My eye always has a little patchiness right in there, but there's some eyeshadows that like Suku doesn't patch up right there for me, but I don't know, almost all other eyeshadows do. Some Charlotte Tilbury doesn't patch up for me right there, but I don't think that's the eyeshadow's fault because that's usually in my eye. Then I'm gonna go in with just like a round brush. I'm going into this color right here and I'm just gonna deepen out the outer shade, outer portion of my eye. And just kind of bring it in. And then go back in with my original brush and blend that out. Then using the same brush, I'm going into this middle color right here and I'm gonna use that again on the outer portion of my eye on the lower, the moving lid portion, and just bring that in. Then flipping the brush over, I'm gonna go into this teal metallic color, and I'm gonna bring that all over the lid, but lightly so that it's not too strong. And blend that in with the other gray shade. Then going back in with my first brush, I'm gonna blend that out. Oh, I'm liking kind of how this is turning out. Make sure it's all even. Then I'm going in with my refer pencil brush. I'm gonna go into this color right here and I'm gonna put that all over my lower lid. Then I'm gonna go into this deeper shade and I'm just gonna do the outer V of my upper and lower lashes. Let me tight line my waterline, curl my eyelashes, and I'll be right back. I tight line both my upper and lower waterline and I curl my eyelashes and I realized it's like bottom heavy. So I got the Wayne Goss Eye Cold Pencil and this is in Rich Hazel. And what I think I'm gonna do is just really get close to my lash line here. Line my upper waterline. I can't get too close to the lashes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pencil brush and go into this black and go over the eye pencil with this black just to kind of soften it up a little bit so that looks better okay so the new mascara I have for you today is the NARS Climax so I got wait Climax Extreme I got this in a sample size because I've heard good things about this and I've had this for a little while because I got it in an Ulta haul a while back but I thought I would try this with you today so let's see this is what the brush looks like. I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. So let's go ahead and try this on. I am looking for a volumizing and lengthening mascara. And right now, my favorite is the Thrive Cosmetics one because the tubing mascara does a good job of not smearing and volumizing and lengthening for me. That's with one coat. That's not bad with one coat. Okay, let's keep trying. Okay, that's what it looks like with two coats. Not bad. We'll have to see if it smudges or gives me raccoon eyes afterwards. Cause you know, that's the true test. My eyes are watering. I poke my eyes out with Pat McGrath Labs <laughs> in extreme black. What is this? Yeah, extreme black when I was doing my waterline because it needed to be sharpened and I was being lazy. So next I'm going to use my Tom Ford bronzer in Terra, 02 Terra. This is an older product, 
but newer to me. Then for highlighter, I'm gonna go into this Pat McGrath Labs, the Divine Rose. This is still new to me product and I'm still trying to figure out what I think about it. So I'm gonna go in with the Sonia G Fan Brush and fan that onto my face. It's not as extreme as her Champagne Gold one was, the other release with the hockey puck. I'm gonna use a Sisley Golden Rose. This is kind of a shinier blush and so I'm gonna, it's light, so I'm gonna use that because I have a defining eye. I'm just gonna kind of go into it like this. I am starting to like it more than I did the first time I used it, but you know, I like it for something like this where I'm not trying to bring in too much focus on my face. Let me wipe off the Frank Body Lip. And I'm just gonna use this gloss that I got. It's a Pillow Talk Diamonds that I got. I don't remember where I got this from. From. I think it came free with the Charlotte Tilbury order that I had, but I've never used it, so I thought I would use that now. This is what the packaging looks like, and here's the lip color. So let's go ahead and swatch this up here. Oh, I just smushed it. So that's what it looks like. Okay, let me see how I can fix this. No, I don't like this. Okay, I'm taking this off because it's too shiny and I feel my eyes are too shiny. So let me take this off. I'm going to fill in my lips with the Sisley Lip Pencil in Nude. Then I'm going to go in with the gloss that I got in number two in the Fido Lip Gloss. It's not as shiny. Okay, then I'm going to spray my face with a Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray, of course. Then myself off. Okay, so this is my final look for today. What do you guys think? This eye look is a little out there for me, isn't it? I think I like it. Let's talk about the new products that I use today. We're gonna start with the P. Louise base. I think I like it. What do you guys think? I think it held on to my eyeshadow. I won't know for sure until the end of the day. So I will have a final review for you on my monthly product roundup. So there's that. I do like this La Mer concealer. It hasn't settled into my fine lines. It doesn't look crepey, so that's good. And as well as the La Mer powder. But I'm gonna have to wait and see how oily my face gets today. So again, in the product roundup, I'll let you know my final thoughts on that. I do like the Frank Body Lip Balm, especially since it smells like coffee. I wish it was just a little bit of a deeper nude, but that's just a personal preference for my skin tone. So this Wayne Goss Pearl Moonstone, I like it. I like it better than I thought I would. Isn't that a fun eye look? Yeah, I like it. So there's that. I think I really like this Climax Mascara. My eyelashes have fallen a little bit. Let me go ahead and try lightly curling them again. There. So I needed to hold a curl or else you can't see that I have eyelashes. And I really like this Kevin Aquan number nine, the Sensual Skin Enhancer, but I'll keep using this as well. So I think those are all of my new products. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below. I have a special guest here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I'll see you next time.